Go. Hello guys, we are members from Team 4. As I'm Philip, we have Phil there and we have Peter here. So Peter, let's give us a start. Hello, today I'm going to we are going to talk about Honda Hot Air. Hello. Uh, to find out how uh, this Honda's effect make the this bow fly. Oh, 
goal is okay, our purpose is the relation to find a relation between incitation and goal and and just the stability and rotating speed. Please, if there's a limit of inclination, just look at the GI as talking. That's how we, we we do the experiment. And the uh, and the shadows on the board. Okay. And the shadow on the on the board is is changed when the ball is uh, when when the ball is uh, the distance between the light and the ball. A little bit like a solar eclipse. Okay, my nerd. Okay, I'm going to talk about data now. So, can <laughs> anyone tell me about the relationship of value of change of theta and delta x? Delta x means the, the, uh, the, the way it shakes. If the value of delta x is higher, then it makes it shakes more stronger or it's more unstable. So, who can tell me where's the relationship between them? Anyone? No one? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can see the value of tendency has basically decreased from this... Oh my gosh. Basically, uh, basically decreased from this side, and the delta x basically increased on this side, also the delta y. And I'm going to tell you why later. Okay, so as just as just as what I just said, it's about stability. You can basically say that as the value of tendency has decreased, the stability also decreased because the uh, delta x and delta, the value of delta x and delta y basically increased too. And okay, I'm going to show you why. Yeah. We have a hair dryer here, pretend it's a hair dryer. <laughs> and we have an airflow looks like this. Today we have a flow basically move uh, maybe here. So according to quantum effect, the airflow will basically go this way. And there we are going to talk about another effect that is pretty pretty, pretty I don't know, very bit, uh, similar to the quantum effect, it's called the magnetic effect. So if the airflow goes like this, it basically creates a force going this way, which push it up and fill. Okay. Because there is a high pressure down down there, so the, the ball is pull push this way. Air here is trapped now by one light effect. So the opposing force is upwards like this. Pull the ball go up and the uh, Okay, thanks for let's give a uh, feel of loss then. If the inclination is <laughs> the state is theta, and we can know that the force upward is going to be uh, mg sine sin theta. If the theta is if the theta is um, if the theta is big, if the theta angle is bigger, the mg sine theta goes bigger as well. So which means the force here needs to resist more uh, more gravity, more force, and making this not very stable, which means it could basically fall down or go that way and this way in any degree. Okay. Second of all, rotating speed. Back to this graph again. Okay. First of all, we know if we want one thing to rotate, we need what? 
When you what? Huh? Okay, we need torque. And if we and the torque here, not torque. If the torque here, we can just think that every single piece of air flow has the same force. But here, the the force of air flow basically basically uh, pointing to the not just as the way. Vertical to the radius, which makes the which makes the uh, torque much smaller than the one of this side, which makes it spin. And as I just said, with the largest data and you have the uh, largest stability, but at the same time it's really faster. Okay, then that's probably the end. Wait, I think I forgot something. Is there a limit of the explanation angle? Of course, yes. Back to the graph. Okay, here. Do you see a pile of fail? Why? Do you see a pile of fail over here? That's because the tangent theta is over the limit. Actually, it's not just over, it's under the limit. And is there any maximum limit of the tangent theta? I think there's no because if the theta equals 90 degrees, the tangent the value of tangent theta basically means unlimited. Well, that's the, that's the end of our representation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Your performance is, is good, excellent as well. Thank you.